Now I would like to introduce the executive director of the Poetry Center and the Theater and Poetry Project, Maria Maziotti Gillen. Good evening, everyone. Are you able to hear me? Good. It's wonderful to see you all here tonight, and I'm just waiting to hear. I've read the poems. I'm waiting to hear the first and second prize winners read their poems. I know that you'll be loud and you'll let everyone really hear your poem. And, and we at Passaic County Community College are very proud of the students of Patterson and the number of poems that were submitted to this contest. We want you to know that if your poem was chosen for an honorable mention or for a first or second prize, there were many, 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 many poems entered in this contest. So your parents and grandparents and um, all your relatives and you should be very proud of yourself uh, for what you've done, what you've accomplished. And I hope that this will be one of many prizes that you end up winning in your life for your work and that your writing will be something that you will carry with you for the rest of your life. I'm very pleased to be able to introduce the president of Passaic County Community College, Dr. Stephen Rose. Well, good evening and welcome to the college. This is an exciting week for us here at the college because uh, exactly 24 hours from now, we're gonna be having our graduation. And there's gonna be over 300 students who are gonna graduate from college right, right in these seats that our students are sitting in tonight. So uh, we're, we're, it's a very exciting week at the college and this is something which we look forward to each year. This is an absolutely great event and I always have one question I ask our, our young poets here tonight. And I have a question. How many of you are going to be going to college? All right, how many are not planning on going to college? You're not? We're going to change your mind before the end of tonight. If you're good enough to read a poem and to write a poem, you're good enough to go to college. So you're going, you're going to college. Well, I, I love hearing all the poems. I got to read the book earlier this week, and you have done some absolutely great work. You should be very, very proud of yourselves. And again, welcome to the college. We're glad you're here. Um, I do want to announce that the mayor of Patterson, uh, Mayor uh, Jose Joey Torres, sent a proclamation for the young people of Patterson in honor of the prize-winning poets and poems. So uh, let's give a round of applause for Mayor Joey Torres. And I'd like to welcome uh, Mr. Randall Lassiter, executive assistant to the president of Passaic County Community College, who'd like to say a few words to you. Thank you, Maria. It is a great pleasure every year to come back and participate and take part in this wonderful event. Uh, I count it an honor and joy to just be asked to be here. Maria Gilling and her fine staff do such a wonderful job collaborating with Patterson Public Schools on this wonderful event and bringing all of you out tonight and, and all of this exposure for all these authors and writers and poets that are here tonight. And we applaud you for uh, being published uh, poets, and we think it is a wonderful thing. We think it is fitting that every year that you are right here at Passaic County Community College because we think this is uh, the epitome of, of what it's all about, collaborations and being able to support young people in the areas of education and poetry and the language arts. I believe it was John F. Kennedy and his speech that he gave in Amherst that he said that the arts are not propaganda, but it is necessary. And tonight it is proof that it is necessary. Because of what you're doing, we know that it is helping you to become better students and that you feel better about yourselves and that you're finding your lane 
to, 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 a, to be successful in school. We're glad about this and we applaud you tonight and I'm glad to be here to be a part of this great night. God bless you. Have a wonderful evening. And I'd just like to have Mr. Dennis Rogan Dewey, Supervisor of Lang Libraries and Language Arts at the Patterson Public Schools. You know him? He's great, isn't he? And we couldn't do this program without him. Uh, so I really want to give him a chance to say a couple of words to you. Mr. Dennis Rogan. Thank you, Maria, for that nice introduction. Uh, all I have to say is, wow, uh, the adults here, do you remember having this larger gathering over poetry when you went to school? I don't think so. Um, this is great uh, to celebrate the uh, writing achievements of our young people. Let me just say that uh, Dr. DeRoy, the uh, superintendent of schools, and all the assistant superintendents couldn't be here tonight. They're at a board meeting. Every single one of them would rather be here, I'm sure, uh, to hear our young people read their poems. Uh, Passaic County Community College does a lot with the schools. Just this morning, they opened a new school. We, were, uh, we had the groundbreaking for a new school um, across the street, the new uh, Panther Academy building. Also, they work with School 24. We got a big grant, and they're always looking for new opportunities to work. So we thank Passaic County Community College for working so well with the schools. Uh, to the teachers in the audience, you know we have poets through PCC visiting the schools, all the schools throughout the school year. And uh, they're modeling always how to improve writing. And you know something? This helps us on our tests, too. The fact that you can write good poetry. In closing, I'd like you to remember something. Everybody has heard of 9-11. 9-11 means something that's kind of drastic to our society. But I'd like you to remember another number for the summer. 8-11. Yeah, when you go back to your schools, young people, go to the library, check out 8-11. You know how they have numbers on the books? Because that's the poetry section in your library. In the summer, check out 8-11 in your public library. That's the poetry section. Read, 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 and next year, who knows, you might even be a grand prize winner up here writing good poetry. Thank you. Now, because we're very anxious to hear the poems by the young people of Patterson, I am just going to introduce a couple of people just to stand up. <clears throat> Dr. John Mirez, who is the Supervisor of Fine and Performing Arts for the Patterson Public Schools, and um, Miss Laura Boss, who is the judge of this contest, and some of you have had her come into your classroom and work with you. So Laura, stand up and let's give her a big round of applause because she read about 6,000 poems which is a lot of poems for anybody to read, even if they love poetry. So she did a great deal of work and um, chose all of the winners here tonight. First prize, Brianna Rogers, third grade, school 16. Her teacher is Mrs. Loftus, and Brianna's gonna yell into the microphone. Why I love swimming with the animals. When I go swimming, I feel like a fish. A fish swimming right through the blue water. When we go to ponds, I feel like a white swan. I walk through the jungle with dark, dark, like a brown swordfish. I swim through the water like a swimming eagle jumping on me. When I need some air, I jump up like a dolphin gliding on top of water. And I dive in the water just like a big shark. When it is time for dinner, I feel like a tree sucking down food and water. Before I go to sleep, I feel like a smashed peanut butter and jelly sandwich.
First prize, Priscilla Guzman, grade four, school, uh, Norman S. Weir, teacher, Mrs. Mola. Yell into that microphone, honey. Shadow, every night when I go to bed, I hear creeping noises outside my room, and I go into the kitchen. I get out of bed, and I go into the kitchen. All I see is a shadow following me. I sped back to bed, closed my eyes, and tried to forget what I saw, but when I opened my eyes, all I saw was a shadow over me. I screamed in fright, and I woke up everybody. The mystery lies, the mystery lies of what was that shadow, that shadow, that shadow. Oh. Wait a minute, sweetheart, that away. <laughs> oh, how adorable you look. Okay, first prize, Brittany Terrell, grade four, school, Renaissance one, teacher, uh, it only says Wallace, so I don't know if it's a man or a woman. Uh, Wallace, okay. I remember 9-11, it scared me. I remember all the trees and the towers going down in flames. Lady Liberty was watching sadly as the twin sisters burned. She could not do anything about it because she was just a statue. I remember when people lost their lives. I remember people crying. I remember 9-11. I remember 9-11 when it scared me, when it scared me. Uh, first prize, Claudiana Coopy, grade eight. <laughs> Hooray. Uh, school 18, that's my school. Uh, Mrs. Sullivan is the teacher. Okay. Why? Everywhere I go, I see violence. I turn my head to the left, I see people arguing. I turn my head to the right, I see people fighting. I look up. I see the planes crashing into the Twin Towers. I see people jumping from windows. I see children crying. I see people dying. I see the Twin Towers falling apart. Then I wonder to myself, why can't we live in a peaceful world? Why can't we live in a world full of happiness and laughter? Why? Okay, first prize, Alex Rivera, grade eight, school 25, teacher, Miss Hope. You got a cheering section there, Alex. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good. Go ahead. All right. It's called What I Want. All right. What I want in the world is peace, but so does everyone. Violence in this world is a huge peace. Everyone needs to get rid of their gun. Whether it be big or small, get rid of them now. But how? I don't want any more people in the hospital saying how. Just because they got shot. But that's what happens in this world, whether you like it or not. I got shot at the age of eight. Wait, oh, hold up. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I live life day by day, wondering, will the violence ever go away? I got shot at the age of eight. Somebody was trying to get into a gang, and the leader thought, killing a kid, that would be great. I didn't think it was so great. I had, a lot of, I had a lot to live for. I was only eight. Who knows what I could have done, and all because of a stupid gun. I just see it. Elinka? Okay. First prize, Elinka Vangelovska. Grade eight, grade eight, school 25, teacher Miss Hope. <clears throat> My inspiration to write this poem came to me from recent books I've read, i.e. Almost Famous and Go Ask Alice, both written by Anonymous. It paid me to learn these type of events still occur today. So this poem is dedicated to all those kids who live in fear and pain. Drunken man, 
Belinka Bengelska. He comes home full of anger and rage. He has been drinking. Up in my room, I am doing my work. He walks up the stairs, already drunk from one bottle of vodka. As it flows through his body and mixes with his blood, he begins to search for his victim. My door is slightly open and he spots me. He enters inside, dazed and enraged, and begins to hit me. I scream, ow, no, stop, please. The fire fury consumes me. Thank you. Hiya, honey. First prize, Shaquana Brown, grade nine, Rosa Parks High School, teacher, Mrs. Batoni. Memories, remembering things from the past, everything from sleepovers to family fights, cooking with my Easy Bake Oven and playing with dolls that laugh, watching everything from Ghost Rider to Ricky Lake, always being told you're too little, you're too young, never being able to do the things I considered then as fun. Having birthday parties every year on a special day my brother and I share. Remembering all the interesting field trips and enchanting sites and all the bad things I did then that I consider all right. Memories of being innocent to the world, thinking I knew everything there was to be known. Suddenly wishing I was on my own, feeling like I was as bright as a star in the midnight sky, staring at my big post of Usher in the eye memories. Okay, first prize, Samuel Kerr, grade nine, Rosa Parks High School, teacher, Mrs. Batoni. Free is what I want to be. In my country, Kenya, all I heard were the sounds of the singing birds roaming during the hot sunny days. The days were countless, the nights endless. They remind me of my family, we lived in a country where the land was tight, the water, treasure, the food, life. My family and I desired to live in a place where the land was free. Our dreams came true. We should not take this land for granted. Thank you. First prize, Vesna Marankovic, grade 10, school, Rosa Parks High School, teacher, Mrs. Batoni. Reality. I sit here, full of tragedy, hoping for an answer. As I put pen to paper, I now release you, my lovely and horrible fear. Four years ago, my most dreaded fear became a reality. You, father, were taken from this world because of your one wrong decision to light that cigarette, because of your one wrong decision to drink that beer, because you thought it would never catch up to you, and addiction started, which soon ended a life also did to me, yours. Now, father, I sit here wishing you were with me. I truly wish you had never died, because after you passed away, I cried and cried. For weeks, I drowned myself in tears, wishing I had known what to say before that eternal judgment day. Now my soul is hurting, as these burning tears begin to flood my eyes. Or oh, why did this happen? Why did you have to leave? I wish I knew the answer, or even a cure. A cure to this pain, confusion, and everlasting hurt. So as this day comes to an end, I release you, my lovely and horrible fear. You have devoured me, but I laid myself across the fire. You have choked me, but I gave you reason to. You have corrupted my mind, yet I was blind to your trickery. Though I never expected, when I awakened from my bed, that before the day was done, my dear father would be dead. I now wake with such ease, feeling no pain. No longer are my cries for understanding taken in vain. You have been overcome, my lovely and horrible fear. No longer shall dreams and thoughts corrupt my soul. No haunting thoughts burst inside of me. Thank you. First, oh, go ahead. First prize, Frank Wilborn, grade 10, Rosa Parks High School, Mrs. Batoni. A soft caress. Your beauty is a rose. Your caramel skin is velvet under my fingers. I stare into your angel eyes given from God, and I hold your beautiful hands that are soft feathers. 
I listen to your hypnotic voice. As you sing calmly, your words touch my soul. You are the queen of pleasure, and you express love that brings joy to my heart. First prize, Latrice Scott, grade 11 school, Passaic Pas County Technical Institute, Mrs. Filato. Apologize. I've hurt you more than both our fingers can count. With each hurtful knife I threw at you, with each painful wound I gave you, you forgave me. Mistakes I've made over and over again, repetition followed by repetition. You loved me unconditionally, without variation. For you knew my hurting you was unintentional. I've lost you many times. But my willing to change brought you back. I never did change. Now I've caused you pain, one time too many. Just beginning to face facts, you're not ever coming back. I still give the apology, more meaningful to me than all my others before. In my mind, in the heart you gave me, I apologize, although you're already gone. Thank you. First prize, Duwan K. Farhana, grade 12, John F. Kennedy High School, teacher, Mr. Varilla. Earth, viewed green, blue, and serene from Red Planet. Dig deeper, I mean microscopically deeper, and view a world full of hate, insecurity, ignorance. Being Chinese, I was looked upon as inferior by those, in, though, by those in white and black groups because of my unfamiliar features, smell, and customs. Wearing a hijab is like putting on a garb of insecurity, making me feel guilty after the September 11th attack. I feel the ebony color of my skin is still held against me. Three quotes that express the view of three Americans living today. What has this world become? It happened once upon a September time, while everyone was living everyday lives. Then, quicker than speed of light, life cycle of wake up, eat, sleep was interrupted. As Flight 11 and Flight 237 raged through the tallest buildings, shattering down our democratic values, right to petition, strike, express our opinions. Everyday life of taking Anna to school and running late for work, Freedom of choosing between Al Gore and George Bush. A mess, an invisible garbage dump of hate, insecurity, ignorance. Such strong, weapon-sharp words. How can we ignite a prevention of such hateful and discriminating words? By parents teaching children at home about prohibiting racism and loathing. Teachers educating how to promote and celebrate differences in preschool, high school, beyond high school, based on demographic within each setting. Enacting laws of educational inclusion for all ethnicities. Public, public events inclusive of all, of all culture, when peoples come together to discuss why, what, when, where, who of their existence. People come to discuss and share the evolution of lifestyles and cultures. People come to discuss and share, exchanging ideas in most said groups to interact wholesomely and positively. Having everyone included within a community, within a world, stopping TV shows, radio stations, magazines, advertisements, expressing false information about different races, religions, organizations, trying to accept differences of another human being. By doing this, a synergistic move toward peace and morality can transpire. Second prize, Randy Rijo, grade uh, first grade, school 14, teacher, Mrs. Coach. Randy Rijo, I was born because 
I was born. I was born because I wanted to see the flower in the sky. I was born because I wanted to run and play. I was born because I wanted to love you, Mom. Thank you, honey. Second prize, Frank G. Filippelli, grade two, school 27, Miss Winbrand. I hear a ringing like a bell and a boom too, just like when I hear that clickety clack coming from my room. Noise and noise throughout the house that I want to scream, I want to shout. But then I turn around and see the noise is just my mind and me. Thank you, dear. Second prize, Janice Adorno, grade three, school 16, teacher Mrs. Loftus. Come right up close to this so everybody can hear. Okay. Naeja, why do I love you? Naeja, Naeja, how I miss you, Naeja. You were the first one like a star that looks down. You were my best friend, but how about now? I'm nothing without you, I miss you too much. If I could just see you for one last time, I will be so happy. I wonder where you are, I hope you still remember me, because maybe one day I will go downtown and maybe I will see you there. But how will you be? When I am asleep, I will think of you. Naeja, Naeja, how I miss you, Naeja. You were the first one, like a star that looks down. You were my best friend, but how about now? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Second prize, uh, Salome Watson. Grade three, school 10, Miss Wilson. Scary world. I look at my window, what do I see? A terrible world standing back at me. We're shooting and fighting all around. Policemen come to take up drug dealers to put them in jail. Broken glass all around. Pollution from cigarettes in the air. Beer bottles spread all over the ground, litter in the neighborhoods are found. What a scary world I see. Second prize, uh, Kaija Eatman, grade four, school Patterson Charter School for Urban Leadership, Mrs. Bivens. Homeless people scare me because I would never want to lose my home. I wouldn't want to be alone. Homeless people need a home, but they probably can't buy a comb. Homeless people can be good or bad. They are probably very sad. I know I would be very sad. They probably would have had a beautiful home, but now they probably sleep on a box made of foam. Homeless people scare me because that is not how I want to be. Thank you, dear. Second prize, Gebri Hamilton, grade four, school Renaissance one. Wallace is the teacher. Why do I love drawing? The feeling of the pencil in my palm makes me feel very calm. When I draw on the paper, I get inspiration. When I draw someone talking, I draw a translation. Some kids say I get it from my mother, but I know I get it from my brother. I love to draw, I love to draw. Second prize. Uh, Daniel Payams, grade four, school, Norman S. Weir, teacher, Mrs. Mola. Scares of the night. 
When I go to bed and the lights are off, I hear the window howling, the shutters swaying back and forth. When I get up to use the bathroom, I get this kind of creepy feeling that someone's walking behind me. The, floor, the floorboards are squeaking and squealing. When I go to bed, I hear a girl screaming on the top of her lungs. I hear my dog barking outside the kitchen door. Ah! Those are my scares of the night. This way, honey, the other way. Second prize, Ricardo Vasquez, grade four, school CJR number nine, Miss Brightweiser. Best friend. I thought he was my best friend, the best friend I ever had. Instead, I found out the truth and what I learned was that we still call each other friends, but I feel we are apart. We see each other every day, but I still have a broken heart. He made new friends, I made some too. We are talking less and less, and inside I'm sad and blue. Each and every night I pray that he'll say, you want to be my friend and play? Second prize, Tony Zhang, grade four, school 16, Mrs. Alou. You never know what lurks in the dark. Oh, monsters can come out anywhere or anytime and any way. You never know what lurks in the dark. Spiders in your room when you turn out the lights. You never know what lurks in the dark. A serial killer behind you waiting for you to turn around so he can kill you. You never know you never know what lurks in the dark. Blood on your bed that is poisonous. You never know what lurks in the dark. A evil spirit moving your things and throwing them at you. You never know what lurks in the dark. One minute it will start, then a bright light flash and ten zombies appear and they are chasing you. You never know what lurks in the dark. A dead person on your lap and worms and bugs come. Also, a snake comes out, out and starts biting you. Thank you. Second prize, Lafitte Fearson, grade five, school 27, uh, Miss, uh, Miss Dardia. I miss my grandfather. I miss my grandfather. We used to ride bikes in the park. We went places together, just him and me. We talk about things that happened in school. When I felt down, we talked about sports. We talked about going to college. We talked about anything at all. He took me great places. He took me to Disney World. He took me to the movies. He took me to Virginia. He took me to the mall. He was tall and strong. When I was with him, nothing was wrong. Second prize, Lujeta Seiji, grade five, school 18, teacher, Miss Romano. I'm scared of a war. There might be a war, that's what I hear. My body trembles and shakes with fear. I'm so scared of what might be. I don't want to hear or even see. The soldiers are going. I hope no one will get hurt when all of this is done. I get scared when I watch the news. I don't know which are false or true. I'm just a kid trying to learn. I shouldn't be scared that we might burn. Instead of being scared that I might fail, I hear that I should be scared to open my mail. I, if everything would stop so there would be a war, I know that I wouldn't be scared anymore. Thank you, dear. Second prize, Narita Alarcon, grade six, school C CJR number nine, teacher, Ms. Cavallo. <clears throat> why, why do I love you when you don't love me back? You leave me on the shelf all by myself. I'm behind the big old bells and by the cold freezing shelves. I mean, yeah. 
I'm sitting here like a bum, looking so dumb. I'm embarrassed, I'm ashamed, you've forgotten my name. I was a brand new toy for a boy who was seven, but now he's 11. He played with me all day, that has changed in so many ways. He's destroyed, he doesn't make any more noise. He's always going out with his friend or with that girl with all those curls. She looks like a Barbie doll and she's so tall. I may be your old broken down toy, but I brought you joy to you. And maybe all those years has passed for a reason. I brought me, it brought me closer to you. And if you ever feel sad, remember that you have an old friend on top of the dusty shelf and she's all by herself. Second prize, Rihanna Garcia, grade seven, school CJR number nine, Miss Jaros. Move closer, honey. Um, why do I love you? Why do I love you? The first time I laid eyes on you, it was at school. I was walking my way and you were acting cool. You were on the blacktop with a bunch of friends, talking about soccer and all the rest. When I walked by you, I looked at you and you looked at me. I knew since then we were meant to be. This seemed like to be a good dream, but could not come true because I was too shy to talk to you. Months passed and I kept seeing you. I wanted to talk to you, but couldn't because I was too shy like you. Then one day in the summer, I was in the laundromat with my mother and you were too. I knew right there I had a chance to talk to you, but I, like I said, I was too shy to make that move. I was surprised to see my mother talk to yours. They were like best friends, but that didn't help because we didn't talk at all. You kept looking at me and I kept looking at you. I didn't even know your name or where you were from. All I knew was that you were the cute blonde blonde boy with light colored eyes and you were one grade older than I. Then the first day of school came and I still didn't talk to you. Now I was in seventh grade and you were in eighth. We had only one year left before you left for high school and still we can't talk. Then when, on the last week of September, I found out that you liked my friend and you gave her a note and they said, I like you, do you like me? My screen name is now I ask myself, why do I love you? But the real question is, do I still love you? Second prize, Ashley Johnson, grade seven, school 24, teacher, Miss Ferruli. A second prize, grade eight, school CJR9, teacher Mrs. DeSalvo. I try. I try. I know I have a meaning in life, but I don't know what it. I can't hear you. Oh. You have to stand closer to the microphone. Mm -hmm. Have your, your mouth pointing towards me. Okay. okay. I, I try. I know I have a meaning in life, but I don't know what it is. I will know sooner or later. I try to live my life at the edge, but I'm scared to fall. It's too soon for me to fall. I try to be good, but I become bad. As good as I get is what you see. I try to be happy, but end up sad. Sad as if I lost someone close to me. I try to save money, but I waste it all. I shop till I drop. I try to find a love, but can't seem to find where he hides. Come out, come out, wherever you are, my love. I try to stay, stay the same, but change. Changes, change to a new person. Change is bad and good. I try to leave, but come back. I can't leave. I try to fly, but fall. Fall like an egg that was dropped from an airplane up above. 
I try to be nice to everyone, but still people hate me. Why be nice when at the end be hated? I try to live, live forever, but I feel as if I'm dying every day. Life is not long. I try to fit in, but but don't. I'm I'm not one of them. I try to be normal, but, but I am different. They're the tomato and I'm the tomato. I try to have fun, but I am bored. What is the meaning of fun? I try to work harder, but still fail. What am I doing wrong? I try and try, but trying doesn't get me anywhere. I'm going to try harder, and hopefully my trying will get me somewhere someday. A second prize, Stephen Zuleta, grade eight, school 25, Miss Hope. All right, here goes. The pain, the pain of war. What scares me the most is war. Conscious at, at the top, ready, and are not, aren't going to take any more. The army, the military, the Navy SEALs, the Air Force, all fought of the path ahead, standing there to protect their friends until they are dead. What scares me is the suffering, the bleeding, and the bonds, we, the bonds which have great powers, they become blood rainy showers. See, what scares me is their tired faces suffering other people's cases. This has to stop for the safety of our world. War scares me. Second prize, Shaquisha Champagne, grade nine, Rosa Parks High School, teacher, Miss Batoni. <clears throat> Grandfather, I remember walking through the front door with the smell of love in the kitchen, preparing that special meal that you knew would bring smiles through the door. Those collard greens, ham, macaroni and cheese, and most of all that chocolate cake. How much I love to come home from school and know that you were home. You would soon relieve my pain and solve my problems. I remember when you used to tuck me in bed so tight, making sure I, would, making sure I wouldn't fall or even move a little. You would place me in, your, in my favorite spot and tell me a story about a man with four legs and a dog who could fly. I remember the first day I told you I love you, the biggest smile it brought upon your face, the feeling those words left in my heart were blooming like little rosebuds. I remember the day you passed away, the life gone that went to a better place. Even though it brought sadness to my heart, I dwelled on the memories that were in my heart. Once more in my life, I say those three big words to you. I love you even more now that you're in a better place. Okay, second prize, Colin King, grade eight, East Guide High School, Mr. Rayo. <clears throat> my name of my poem is called Trap. I'm scared of being trapped. The name of my poem is Troll Trap. I'm scared of being trapped. Last year I got left back. In EHS I'm feeling trapped. I've been here years before. Feel like the walls are closing in. So is the door. Teachers breathe heavy on my back to tell me the potential that I lack. I'm scared of EHS walls closed on me. Sometimes it feels as if I can't breathe. I'm scared of my friends will leave and walk on stage while I will still be here turning the page. I'm scared of being retained because my teachers say it's not a game. Thank you. Second prize, Mokra Muhammad, grade 11, Kasei County Technical Institute. Mrs. Filato. <clears throat> the title of my poem is I Hate Winter. A melancholy winter. I awake from my sleep, smelling the unscented cold, bitter air that remains frigid and still. The tip of my nose becomes red. I hate winter. Sitting up, I catch a glimpse of the snow-covered earth. Nothing but bare trees that await a new season. While I await the warmth of a hot shower. I hate winter. Walking on fallen snow, giant crystal flakes fall from the sky, making their way to my head slowly. I become as solid as the ice that slithers beneath the soles of my shoes. 
I hate winter. Shivering now from the bitter air, I take bigger steps to escape the gloomy surroundings. I hate winter. All at once, I feel warm inside. The hairs on my skin fall back into place. My goosebumps go away, and I find myself underneath the thick blankets on my bed. Now awake from that dreary slumber, I throw my blankets to the floor, and freezing air envelops me as I walk to the bathroom. I hate winter. Honorable mention, Naquise Martin, grade, first grade, school number 12, Mrs. Gagliardo. Let's go, honey. Okay, good. Honorable mention, Zia Mathis, grade one, Renaissance one, Miss Bouch is the teacher. <laughs> Honorable mention, Cynthia Negron, grade one, Renaissance one, Mrs. Rice is the teacher. Honorable mention, Stephanie Aguayo, grade two, school number 16. Mrs. Kelly is the teacher. Honorable mention, Nassim Ahmed, grade two, school number 29. Mrs. Pincus is the teacher. Honorable mention, Saima Islam, grade two, school number 27. Mrs. Rinbrand is the teacher. Nasir James, grade two, school number 14. Miss Romer is the teacher. To take two kills today. Um, honorable mention, Emily Lopez, grade two, school number 29, Mrs. Pincus. Honorable mention, George Mendoza, grade two, school number 14, Miss Barnes. Honorable mention, Angela Miranda, grade two, school number 16, Miss Perpersi. Carlos Munoz, grade two, school number 27, Mrs. Rembrandt. Honorable mention, Henry Quisada, grade two, school number 19, uh, Mrs. Sigismondi. Just wait one second. Okay, next. Thank you, dear. Honorable mention, Luis Serrano, Serrano, grade two, school number 14, Mr. Fields is the teacher. <clears throat> Honorable mention, Lucille Alejo, grade three, school number 16, Mrs. Loftus is the teacher. Over here. <laughs> Honorable mention, Amar Amar, grade three, school number 16, Mrs. Loftus is the teacher. Go ahead, honey. Honorable mention, Maria Artavia, grade three, school number 10, Mrs. Esquich is the teacher. Thank you. Honorable mention, Christy Incarnacion, grade three, school number 16, Mrs. Loftus. <laughs> Honorable mention, Diana Estevez, grade three, school number 16, Mrs. Loftus is the teacher. <laughs> Honorable mention, Joshua Hossein, 
Grade three, school number 16, Miss Moscato is the teacher. Honorable mention, Ingrid Medrano, grade three, school 16, Mrs. Santos, Mr. Quispy. <clears throat> Pretty. Honorable mention, Sabrina Nunez, grade three, school 14, Miss Carino is the teacher. Thank you. Nicholas Rodriguez, grade three, school one. Mrs. Wolf is the teacher. Malik Simpson, grade three, school number eight. Miss Courtlang is the teacher. Thank you, dear. Honorable mention, Gabriela Torres, grade three, school number eight. Miss Courtlang is the teacher. Honorable mention, Cynthia Velez, grade three, school number 16. Miss Moscato is the teacher. Samuel Alzate, grade four, school number 10. Miss Mirop is the teacher. Oops. Honorable mention, Iman Baker, Grade four, school number nine, Miss Brightweiser is the teacher. Isaac Butts, grade four, school 29, Mrs. Kunzik. Congratulations, honey. Diana Escobar Goza. Grade four, school nine, Mrs. Fody is the teacher. I wonder if people would stay until all the children have received their awards. Takea Day, grade four, school 16, Mrs. Elu is the teacher. Renzo Espinoza, Espinoza, grade four, school number 16, Mrs. Santos. Dijon Fletcher, grade four, school number zero. What is this? Mrs. Blazy, Miss Lopez. I don't know what school that is. All right, that's okay, just go get it. Shayala Foreman, grade four, school number 14, Mrs. DiLorenzo. <laughs> Laura Bell Hernandez, grade four, school 16, Mrs. Santos. Thank you, honey. Daniela Mesa, grade three, school 16, Mrs. Santos, Mr. Quispy. Quahim Hill, grade four, school number 10, Mrs. Hoffman. Okay, wait a minute, we're backing up a minute. Just wait a second, honey, okay? I'll take the card, but you just stay here till I tell you, all right? Just wait a minute, sweetheart, okay? Just hold on. He's Quahim Hill. Okay, wait a minute, honey. You'll get a chance to be on the stage longer. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Hakeem MacArthur, grade four. <coughs> Patterson Charter School, Mrs. Bivens. Good. 
Phyllis Nunes, grade four, Roberto Clemente School, Miss Greeter, Miss Lopez. Joseph Perez, grade four, school 27, Miss Saja Band. Thank you, dear. Pablo Racinos, grade four, school 19, Mrs. Hamilton. Louis Rodriguez, grade four, school 10, Miss Shemley. Carla Savillano, grade four, school 29, Mrs. Emma. Honorable mention, Mesa Shabne, grade four, school CJR nine, Mrs. Moreno is the teacher. Jabir Williams, grade four, school number nine, Mrs. Bivens. Manta Amar, grade five, CJR number nine, Miss Fresca Tar. Thank you, dear. Javon Brown, grade five, school Renaissance one, Miss Ugliarlo. Ahmed Brownfield, grade five, school 25, Mr. Fontanella. Thank you, dear. Stephanie Castellanos, grade five, school 25, Mrs. Winokur. Karina Cordero, grade five, school 12, Mrs. Sidoti. Chantilly Gonzalez, grade five, Renaissance one, Mrs. Pio. Jerry Goris, grade five, school 12, Mr. Lake. It's what, honey? Feline? Feline Green, grade five. School 27, Mrs. Dardia. Ariana Hart, grade five, school 27, Mrs. Dardia. Thank you, dear. Afsana Hussein, grade five, school number five, Mr. Ashley is the teacher. Ivelez Rivera, grade five, school 10, Miss Alberg. Fabiola Serrano, grade five, school 18, Miss Romano. Ashante Black, grade six, school number 18, Miss Conisi. Thank you. Mama Amar, grade six, CJR nine. Miss Cavallo is the teacher. Okay. Katerina Cordona, grade six, school 10. Mrs. Carasquillo. Okay, just hold on a second, honey. I think she's having trouble finding it. Okay, Samia Chadur, uh, Shadori, grade six, school 25, Mr. Hall. <laughs> Stephanie Cortez, grade six, school 21, Miss Pinero. 
Thank you. Tony Lewis, grade six. <clears throat> Norman S. Weir, Mrs. Salino. <clears throat> Uh, no, wait, honey, say, say your name. Samaya. Samaya Seiji, grade six, school number 18, Miss Petrarco. <laughs> Gabriella Arias, grade seven, school four, Miss Faroli. Alicia Bartley, grade seven, school 10, Mrs. Eatman. Stay there, let them take your picture, sweetheart. Okay. Sharina Webb, grade six, school number one, Mr. Chef. Thank you. Valerie Camarina, grade eight, school number eight, Mr. Cintron. Catherine Gusman, grade seven, school number eight, Mrs. Kelzer. Kelzer. Okay, wait one second here for me, honey. Let me have the card, but just stay here a minute till she gets the rest of the. Okay, Ali Hamude, grade seven, CJR nine, Mrs. Jaros. Amira Majun, Majun. Okay, Amira Majun, grade seven, school number 20, Miss Freeman. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, I touch Tarkan. I touch Tarkan, seventh grade, CJR number nine, Miss Warren. Omar Ritagui, grades, did I, excuse me, honey, want to say, say it. Riatagi. Oh, nice name. Omar Riatagi. Grade seven, school number 25, Mrs. Hope. Thank you, hon. Tanya Rosario, grade seven, school 25, Miss Hope. What, honey? Oh no, I can, I can read that one. Natalie Penna, grade seven, school 24, Miss Faroli. I see you got a rose, a rose for a rose, right? Okay, let's see. Alyssa Silva, grade seven, school 24, Mrs. Ferroli. Rachel Olmos, grade eight, school Norman S. Weir, Mr. Hart, <coughs> Miss Cox. Okay. Jasmine S. Brown, grade eight, Norman S. Weir, Mrs. Salimo. <laughs> Stephanie Fung, grade seven, Norman S. Weir, Mrs. Salino. Lisa Sejito, grade seven, school number 20, Mrs. Freeman. Latifa Carmichael, grade eight, school 25, Miss Hope. Woo! 
Quadisha S. McNeil, grade eight, school 12, Mrs. Albritton. Christine Ramos, grade eight, school 25, Miss Hope. Melanie Vasquez, oh, Melanie Vasquez, grade eight, school number 11, Miss Winley. Congratulations, honey. Zasha Robinson, grade eight, school eight, Mrs. Burgess. Thank you. Giovanni Torres, grade eight, school 10, Mrs. Healy. Victor A. Flores, grade nine, of Passaic County Technical Institute, Mr. Chediak. What, honey? Oh, Miss Hilbert, okay. Is Stephanie Franco, grade nine, Garrett Morgan Academy, Miss Hilbert. Miguel Cruz, grade 10, JFK High School, Mrs. Wojcik. There she is taking your picture. <laughs> Go ahead, take, let her take it. Dana Holdman, grade 10, Eastside High School, Mrs. Schwartz. Jane Grade 10, Eastside High School, Mrs. Schwartz. Sarah Rios, Grade 10, JFK, Mrs. Wojcik. Is that it? All right, thank you. I want to give another round of applause to all the teachers who helped you and um, to all my staff worked so hard to get this event together uh, to the Patterson Public Schools and to Passaic County Community College. <laughs>